गुड मॉर्निंग सो लेट अस कंटिन्यू विद अवर एक्सरसाइज 4.3 एंड टुडे वी विल बिगिन विद क्वेश्चन नंबर 4 सो थ्री ऑल टेन पार्ट्स आई हैव सॉल्व फॉर यू यू कैन गो थ्रू एंड देन फोर्थ क्वेश्चन इज हाउ मेनी टर्म्स ऑफ द एपी हाउ मेनी टर्म्स मींस सम देयर आर टू डिफाइन देम ऑफ द एपी एपी इज गिवन 9 17 24 एंड सो So on, must be taken to give a sum of 636. So S N is given 636. So sum of all this is given that is equal to 636. So how many terms means S N is given and I will determine A is there. What is that? Nine. B is there. Seventeen minus nine is eight. So use S N is equal to n by two. 2a plus n minus 1 into b. So definitely we are getting a quadratic there. So S N you can use is 636. And I have to determine 2a means 18 and uh, plus n minus 1 into b means 8. So here you just see 636 n by 2. So in 18 and 8 I can take two common. So inside the bracket, I will left with nine plus n minus one into four. Then two you can cancel here. This is six thirty six is equal to n into nine plus this is four four uh, n minus four. So six thirty six we are getting is equal to this is n into nine nine n four n. Square and minus four. So this quadratic equation is six thirty six is equal to four n square. This is your nine into n and four into n. So nine minus four is plus five n. So we are getting the quadratic equation is four n square plus five n minus six thirty six is equal to zero. So now you know what we did in quadratic equations also. So you can go for the value of n. I am leaving it to you. You have to see the solution for n. If you split this somewhere, you will be getting n is equal to 12. So please solve and check whether you are getting the correct answer or not. That all we have finished in our previous exercises. I will use the quadratic formula or go for the middle term splitting, but check the factorization. Are you getting n is equal to twelve? So that will be the answer for this question. Then number five. Number five is the first term of an AP is five. So I will write a is equal to five. And then last term is so that is a n. Last term is a n is equal to what? Forty five. And sum of n terms is also given. That is equal to sum is 400. That is 400. Find the number of terms. I have to determine n. And uh, common difference also I need to determine. That is d. D also I have to calculate. So here again you can start with your that formula of s n as the last term and first term both are given to you. So you can use S N is equal to straightway N by two into A plus L N by two into A plus L. So S N is given here. It is four hundred N. I have to determine A. I have five and last term that is A N term is forty five. So in that way I am getting four hundred is equal to N by two into This is 50, so 25s are. So here, if you do this, that is n is equal to 400 upon 25. So 16 is the number of terms there, and you can calculate from here. That comes is equal to 16. So now a n is given. You can use that also, or your s 16. Now you can put in. Value of n by 2 into 2a plus n minus.
minus 1 into b to get the value of d. So therefore Sn is equal to that is Sn means n by 2 2a plus n minus 1 into d. I have a n also a plus n minus 1 into d. So a plus n minus a is available there. N I have calculated. A n term is given. So that is your choice at check whether you are getting d from there. The calculation you have to do is equal to 8 upon 3. So correct answer for this will be equal to what? 8 upon 3. So Sn is given. Substitute the value. N you have got 16. Then A is 5. And D is to be calculated. And again you have to put here 16. Linear question in one variable you can solve. To calculate the value of D. That should be equal to 8 upon 3. So you can please check your calculation. Then number 6 is Question number 6 That is The first and the last term of an AP are 17 and 350 respectively Common difference is 9 How many terms are there and what is their sum? So again you write the information A is equal to 17 last term or the anth term is given equal to 350 and d is given equal to 9 so I need to calculate n and then sn so I hope all of you are clear with this now last term so an is equal to what a plus n minus 1 into d a and d are given an is given that is 350 so 350 is what 70 plus n minus 1 into 9 so 350 here it is is equal to 70 plus 9 and minus 9 17 minus 9 is 8 8 if you will shift to this side 350 minus 8 will make it 342 is equal to 9n so 342 upon 9 is equal to n so 9 3s are 27 and 9 8s are 20. This gives you n is equal to 38 and then you can calculate as 38 by putting 30 a plus n, n by 2 and a plus n. So directly you substitute 70 plus 350 to get the value of s 38 and check the answer that is coming somewhere is equal to 6973. So please do the calculation and check the answer. Then your next number 7 is question number 7. Here is again find the sum of first 22 terms. So n is equal to 22. Please focus your attention while you are writing the information. Already I have shared with you. You are either given with A and D, A and S and that you have to uh, perfect in identification of these and that is, that is only required to apply in both the formulas so please keep a check so sum of first 22 means N is equal to 22 in which D is 17 so D is equal to what? 17 and your 22nd term is 149 A 22 is equal to 149 means what a plus 21 d is equal to 149 so what i have to calculate is find the sum of s22 i have to calculate and you know s22 means uh, 22 by 2 n by 2 into 2 a a is missing so that you can use from here a plus 21 d is equal to 1 D you can substitute it to get the value of A. So uh, in this equation 1 you will put A plus 21 into 17 is equal to 149. So from here you can calculate the value of A. So that A you will be getting is equal to 2. Please check the calculation. So if A is equal to 2 then S22 22 upon 2, 2a, two, 2 into 2, plus n minus 1, n minus 1, that is 22 minus 1, 
as 22 means 22 minus 1 into d is what? 17. So here is the calculation. Cancel data. Do it inside the bracket. So you are getting 11 into 151 and then check the product. Somewhere you will be getting is equal to 1661. So that will be the answer for your question number 7. Then question number 8 is you have to find the sum of first 51 terms. Now n is equal to 51 in question number 8. n is equal to 51. n is equal to 51. Whose second and third term? Second means a2 is equal to. Second term is. Whose second term is 14. And third is. 18. So from here you can see that a plus b is equal to 14. From there you can see a plus 2 b is equal to 18. So if you eliminate this subtract minus minus this is gone minus 2 b plus b is minus b. This is minus 4 so this implies b is equal to 4. Put anywhere. So put in 1 suppose. This is equation number 1. A plus B is equal to 14 means A plus 4 is equal to 14. So what is A is equal to 10. So now A is equal to 10. What you have to find here is that is find the sum of first 51 terms. So N is equal to 51. D. D also you can calculate that is 4. So S 51 is equal to 51 upon 2. 2 A means 20. Plus n minus 1 means 50. D you have is 4 here. So that is 4. So please check this calculation. So you will be getting sum of your 51 terms somewhere is coming equal to 5610. 5610. So these are the solution of your next 5 questions. Up to 8 that is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So five five questions I am taking in a day. I hope that much is sufficient for you. You can revise, see and do once or twice at least new topic. And from the understanding point of view is also very important. So tomorrow I will take onwards question 9. Thank you.